Are you struggling to deploy your React application on Google App Engine? You're not alone. Many developers face this challenge, especially when dealing with Webpack. Today, we're going to tackle this issue together. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when you think everything is set up correctly, only to hit a wall with deployment errors. It can feel like you're stuck in quicksand, right? But don't worry, we will get through this. One user recently reached out with a specific question. I am trying to deploy my React app, which is entirely front-end and running on a Webpack server to Google App Engine. However, I received an error after running the deployment command. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the details. The error message indicates that Webpack is not found, which usually means that the Webpack package is either not installed or not accessible in your environment. This is a common issue when deploying applications that rely on specific build tools. Stay with me, because at the end of this video, I will share a crucial tip that can save you from similar headaches in the future. To resolve the deployment issue, the user should first ensure that all necessary dependencies are installed correctly. This includes Webpack and any other packages required for the application. Next, the user needs to confirm that the Webpack command is accessible in the environment where the application is being deployed. This can be done by checking the installation path. After confirming the installation, the user should modify the deployment script in the package.json file to ensure that the build process runs correctly before starting the server. Finally, the user can attempt to redeploy the application to Google App Engine. They should run the deployment command again and monitor for any errors. Fun fact, did you know that Webpack was created to solve the problem of managing dependencies in JavaScript applications? It's become an essential tool for modern web development. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests modifying your scripts to avoid installing Webpack globally. Instead, use Webpack directly from your node modules. First, ensure Webpack is included in your production dependencies by running npm install save Webpack. Then update your package.json script to use the local Webpack path for bundling. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative solution comes from another user who faced a similar issue. They suggest checking your dependencies in the package.json file. They found that moving the Webpack dev server from dev dependencies to dependencies resolved their problem. Here's the tip I promised. Always keep your dependencies updated and regularly check your package.json file. This simple habit can prevent many deployment headaches. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to deploy your React application successfully. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks. Remember, Every deployment is a learning experience.